Today we're gonna take a look at one of my new toys. This is a gold label fine line painting pen. The reason I got this is because I had seen on Instagram someone using it on paper with their metallic watercolors to do some hand lettering. I got this on Amazon, it was $14.99. There's a link in the description if you do end up being interested in it after you watch the video. This one has a 0.5 millimeter tip, so let's check it out. It comes with a cover to protect the tip and then on the top is where you add the paint. It also comes with a very small cleaning tool that you can use to clean out the tip if it gets clogged. So for the very first test, let's start with paper since I don't know how this is gonna work with the consistency. So I'm going to get my watercolor paint ready. I'm gonna use this teal color and then I'm gonna swirl it up and I'm going to load the well of the pen by just kind of scooping the paint into it. Initially, I left the cap on because I wasn't sure if the paint would start leaking out of the tip of the pen, but I later discovered that you can easily load the well of the pen without it dripping out. So I started out just writing on paper to try and get a feel for the pen and how quickly the paint does or doesn't flow out. And what I started to discover is it felt like it was running out of paint, even though I could see that it wasn't. It just felt like I couldn't get the paint onto the paper consistently, except when I started. So the paint was still coming out and it was still pretty, but it just felt like it wasn't coming out with the same flow that I had witnessed when I first saw this on Instagram. So I decided to try and use that cleaning tool and I actually was able to pull out a little chunk of paint and now the paint is flowing. You can see that it's coming out so thick now that it almost looks 3D like it's raised up off of the paper. This is where I really started seeing how to play around with the consistency and how you barely have to touch the paint once there's paint already on the paper. I had seen um, some advice that you just kiss the pen to the paper and I think that's a perfect description. Especially once you've already got a first coat of the paint down, it immediately bonds to it and too much can come out really easily if you're not careful. I'm going to thicken up the left side of these letters and it's a really good example of how the paint attaches to the other watercolor and just kind of releases it and makes that thicker piece, that kind of 3D looking piece. Now let's give this a try on some rocks because that's the whole point, right? I'm starting out with a Santorini stone because I wanted to start with a very smooth and flat surface to see how this worked. Santorinis are also kind of porous, so I was curious if it was gonna kind of soak up the first coat of the paint or how that would work. So I'm just kind of experimenting here, thickening up the letters on the side to see how that works out. And it flows really well on the Santorini almost just like the paper. It's easy to write. You have to do it kind of carefully. I think if you get too much fluid, it can be easy for the paint to run. So it's just a matter of practicing, but I think it works really well on the Santorini stone. thing that you are not seeing in the video here is how often I am reloading the pen with the paint. So I would estimate it was probably after every word going one round with the word and every time I went back to thicken the letters like this that was a, a reload for each word because more paint comes out. I could see how that might be annoying to someone it might feel a little bit tedious but depending on how this turns out it might be worth it. Interesting side note, one of the biggest uses for this pen that I found through reading all the Amazon reviews is that people use it for auto detailing and fixing like very small rock chips in their paint on their car. So maybe you need to sell your husband or your significant other on this, there you go. This still needs some time to dry because you can see that it's still quite wet and we don't want the paint to move. But stick around till the end of the video to see how this one turned out. 
Now I'm going to try and use the pen on some normal rocks that are just base coated with black. I did not smooth these rocks. They're pretty smooth, but they do still have the normal kind of bumps in them. And almost immediately, you can see at the bottom of the H how the pen released quite a bit of paint and it's kind of bleeding out. What happened here is the pen traveled over a very tiny little hole in the rock and it allowed the pen to release more paint than what I wanted to come out. You can see it's happening again with this one. The other challenge with these rocks is they also have a slope to them where the paint could be running more towards the bottom and how I'm holding the rock, whereas the Santorini stone was nice and flat. So I think the big takeaway is that the rock really needs to be as smooth as possible. Let's take a look at another possible use for this. What if you really wanted to write in a certain color that you maybe didn't have a paint pen with that color, or you wanted to custom mix a color out of some of your paints? I'm going to add a little bit of water to this craft paint and just kind of water it down to where it's a good consistency that I think will fit in the paint pen, and we're gonna see how it works with the paint. I was really happy with the way that this turned out. I think it might take a little bit of practice to make sure you get the exact consistency when watering the paint down so that it's not too watery, not too thick, but this worked like a dream. It glides across the rock and I think it opens up a lot of doors for many, many different colors that you may not want to always invest in a bazillion paint pens. I also tried this paint out on a regular rock and I did experience similar issues where it wasn't quite as smooth, a little bit too much paint came out because of the little bumps in the rock. So I think the big takeaway is that you've got to have really smooth rocks or prep the rocks so that they're very smooth. And I have another video about that that also might be helpful. All in all, I'm really happy with this purchase and I'm excited to experiment more with it, especially with the metallic watercolors. And if you might need to be pushed over the edge, check out how that metallic watercolor rock ended up once I got resin on it. I don't own any paint pens that can give this kind of dimension and sparkle, so I'm really happy with this. Let me know in the comments what you think and if it's going on your Christmas list this year. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I hope this video was helpful and introduced a new and exciting tool for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss future uploads, and I will see you next time. Take care.